Hey guys, today I wanted to demo this project manager TUI that I wrote in Rust with Cursive. Um, I've added support for Tmux, which is the intended use, but then um, kind of hacky support for VS Code via the code command or via um, code OS via the code OS command, which you'll see in a second. So the main idea here is you get um, a nice TUI that fits your terminal's current theme. It won't override the background color and you can move up and down with the J and K arrows, you can preview with P and you can refresh with R. It should auto refresh, but in case it isn't, you can hit R. So here you can see that I get a nice preview of all the files um, in all of these. I can delete something with D, it auto uh, does that. You can add something with home K, but I can also just get the present working directory pasted right in there using tab cycles through these guys. So now I can add this and you can see it's auto refreshed and this list should be fairly long but it fits on the screen and if the list doesn't fit on the screen you'll be able to scroll with the up and down arrows in that little preview pane or you can use tab to go to the back button and just exit out of it and you can see using shows the quote unquote back end so here this is tmux which means that opening this will just put me in my home directory but if I were to do a specific project it puts me right here um, and it just makes a new window so one of the benefits of that is if I'm doing work here but I want to open a new window it won't close this one and if I want to close this one I can just manually close it and using void Linux you can see there's no code but there is code OS so to add support for void Linux and anyone that built the binary from scratch I added support for two different um, types of or two arguments you can pass. You can either pass code or code add, which will add to the current window if there's a window already open, or you can pass code OS or code OS add. So here I'll do code OS and let's do the PyLift one. So you can see here using code, I go to open it and I get PyLift right there. The text here is super small. I don't use VS Code, but I installed it just to, uh, to give this demonstration. So it is um, pretty small, but you can see it says PyLift right there. And if I were to do rject code OS add, what it'll do is it'll create a workspace and add this to the workspace. So I don't know if you can see, it's pretty tiny and I can't zoom in. Oh, there we go. Um, so I've got this untitled workspace and I've got both folders open, which is pretty neat. And then I'm not going to save this guy. Um, and you can see what happens if you do it without that ad, it should just make a new window. Perfect. So you can either keep making new windows or you can create a workspace with multiple projects open. But the main draw of using this with VS Code, um, in my opinion, if I were to be a VS Code user, would be the fact that, sorry, let me just trying to figure out on my little keyboard how to get the tilde symbol to go up so I can get the terminal to open. Control, shift, yeah, that should work. But it is fighting me, there we go. So if I were to run rject code os add here, I can toggle one of these guys and then I can have it added right here. Perfect. So it creates a workspace when you run add and you can add as many folders as you want. And you can use this within VS Code once you already have a window open if you want to get that functionality um, of not having to navigate around. And the reason why I did all of this in one package is just for maximum cross compatibility. And by that I mean cross compatibility with different programs. Personally, I use this with Tmux, so maybe I have a NeoVim window here, and I've got a split here, but I want to open a new project, then I can just run rject, look at which project I want to open, and now I can work on this, and I can go back, either close this and keep working on this. Um, so all in all, I feel like it adds just what I was missing from Emacs. Naturally, it's not nearly as full featured, but it gets me most of what I need. And I'll do a full tutorial later. Just wanted to give a little demo. If you have any questions or any specific questions on how it was built, feel free to comment. 
and I'll try to address those in the tutorial. Thank you.